The chamfer or fillet tool adds an angled face or radius at the edges of bodies. To use the chamfer or fillet tool, go to Tools and then select Chamfer or Fillet. Select an edge and then drag the arrows toward or away from the body. Dragging the arrows away from the body fillets the edge and results in a positive dimension value. You can also use the advanced fillet controls to modify the curvature, profile corner types, and continuity conditions. Simply drag the slider to adjust the curvature and select the settings badge to choose a corner and continuity type. Dragging the arrows toward the body chamfers the edge and results in a negative dimension label. You can also create a two distance chamfer by selecting two distance chamfer from the chamfer or fillet menu. A two distance chamfer is set back at different distances from the selected edge. To finish your chamfer or fillet action, select done or an empty area of the grid. To view or refine history parameters for the chamfer or fillet tool, find the specific step for your chamfer or fillet action and open the expandable card. From there, you can update the edge and distance settings for your chamfer. And the edge, continuity, corner, overflow, radius, and curvature settings for your fillet. To choose a different edge for your chamfer, Click or tap the Edit or Select button. Choose a different edge and then select Done to finish. If you have a two distance chamfer, enter the value of the first and second distance in their respective fields. To include tangent edges, turn on the Include Tangent Edges setting. To choose a different edge for your fillet, click or tap the Edit or Select button. Choose a new edge and then select Done to finish. To adjust advanced fillet settings such as Continuity, Corner, Overflow, select the drop-down box and choose from the available options. To define a radius or curvature, specify the values in their respective fields. To include tangent edges and a Y-shaped blend, turn on the Include Tangent Edges and Y-shaped blend settings. Alternatively, you can use the available gizmo for the fillet tool to directly adjust the advanced fillet settings.